Thanks for tuning into the Boston Roll channel. Liking the video and subscribing to the channel are free and easy for you, and they help me out a lot. If you want to go further with your support, Patreon and YouTube membership offer access to the Boston Roll Discord community, early access to lists, written content, things like that. You can have me play your deck on the channel, and the highest tiers come with individual coaching sessions. If you use YouTube membership, you also get sweet badges and emotes integrated here into YouTube. You can support the channel while you shop at tcgplayer.com by using my affiliate link in the video description. And you can play any deck anytime by using a cardhoarder.com loan account on Magic Online. If you want to wear your support, check out the merch store. And of course, thanks for being here. Now let's go play some Magic. Welcome back to the Boston Roll channel. Today, at the request of Patreon subscriber Sam, I am playing Legacy Phoenix Delver. What we got here is a Grixis Delver core. Delver of Secrets, lots of spells, Days, Force of Will, Lightning Bolt, Cantrips, you know the thing. But it's also got a little... Dark Ritual, Buried Alive, Arclight Phoenix action. Grixis Phoenix is a pretty known quantity in Legacy. It's kind of a fringe deck you can play. Delver, obviously, well-known, <laughs> best deck in Legacy, basically at all times. And this deck is smushing them together. The plan is to pressure them with Delver, disrupt them with Discard, and then when the coast is clear, Dark Ritual into Buried Alive and get a bunch of Phoenixes into play. That said, I think there is some structural issues with the list that has been sent to me. One of them is that this list has no way on turn one to make Arclight Phoenixes, unless your opponent decides to interact with you. Like, the dedicated Phoenix decks have free spells like Land Grant, Gut Shot, somewhat free spells like Manamorphos. They have Lotus Petals, so you can pull ahead and sneak an extra Ritual in. Uh, you need to get to three spells because Dark Ritual for Buried Alive is only two. And unless your opponent tries to interact with you and you get to cast a Daze or a Force of Will, there's no free spell to make that happen on turn one. Which is fine if this is sort of a turn two, turn three, like uh, Thought Seize You and then Dark Ritual Buried Alive kind of plan. That's fine. But I think that the deck can be rebuilt to support that better while also improving its Delver Shell. Let's look at my rebuild of the deck. Here's where I took it. Same plan, most of the same cards. We still have the, the same Arclight Phoenix, still Delver. We still have Buried Alive. Most of that stuff is intact. What I've done here is gone a little lighter on Thoughtseize, a little lighter on Dark Ritual, and a little lighter on Buried Alive. If you don't, if you're not turn one-ing anyway, then you can slow it down and just play fewer of these cards because they're pretty bad on their own. And if you're not going quickly, then you don't want to, you want them when you're ready for them, not just gumming up your opening hand. This is a Delver deck after all. I cut the Preordains and Inquisition of Kozilex as well. I think we can do better than that, namely with Faithless Looting. This card is the card that ended up getting banned in Modern because of how powerful it is with Arclight Phoenix. If a Phoenix ever ends up in your hand, that's a good place to put it. Put it into the graveyard for fun and profit. I also made room for Dragon's Rage Channeler, which is one of the best threats in Legacy right now. It's in the core of the, the non-Phoenix Delver deck. It's also a mill spell. Every time you cast a spell, you get to surveil one, whip those phoenixes straight into the graveyard, put Faithless Looting or Lava Dart there for fun and profit in the future. That is an extra threat on the Delver side, an extra enabler on the Phoenix side, and I think it's going to go really well for the plan here. This also gives us eight one-drops instead of one, because the version of the deck that was sent to me originally, I feel like a lot of the time we would just have no threat on turn one, and not really a clean line to get phoenixes into play. Like the deck was kind of split a little too far in both directions. I have leaned a little closer to the Delver side here while maintaining like the only cards I changed are cards that also enable phoenix. There's overlap here that was not explored in the original list and I'm here for it. We still can't turn one phoenixes without opponent's help playing into days or force, but that's okay. We don't need to. We have eight one drops now, plus all these cantrips and faithless looting to set up for powerful turns two and three. It's and beyond. And Murktide Regent. There's two of these in the deck because that also enjoys a juicy graveyard, same as Arclight Phoenix. We could go wide, we could go big, we could go tempo, and we got the burn to finish out the match all around that. 
In the sideboard, there are some free spells. We got Surgical Extraction and Snuff Out. I don't think either of those are good enough to main deck. I considered the Snuff Out, though. That's, that one's actually pretty close to being main deckable. But I'm tucking it in the sideboard for now. I didn't change anything about the board from Sam's original list. There's three opposition or two opposition agent, three plague engineer as alternate threats. There are also threats that are good with dark ritual, which I think is really good deck building. One thing that I would consider if I was going to mess with the sideboard, which I'm not, is something like Sedgemore Witch or Young Pyromancer. Those are also threats that don't care about the graveyard and do still enjoy the high velocity of spells of the Delver deck. That might be a juke because right now, three of our four win conditions care heavily about the graveyard. So something like Rest in Peace or even a well timed endurance can really mess us up. Having something like Sedgemore Witch or Young Pyromancer to go wide instead after board is worth exploring. I'm going to stick with Opposition Agent though. If there was no Dark Ritual in this deck, I would not consider playing this card. It would be Young Pyromancer immediately. But because of the turn one prison potential, I like it. And I'm going to try it based on that synergy. I also added a land overall. There were only 16 in the first build. And most Elver decks play 19. But four of them are Wasteland. So it's like 15 mana producing lands. But I still... It's very important not to play on one land with this build of the deck. A lot of the times Delver can get away in one land for a while because like they play a threat, they daze you, they replay that same land, they ponder, and like they can play the game on one land. But this deck, this version of the deck, actually does need to be able to like brainstorm into Dark Ritual Buried Alive, which is a two mana play. So we need we're gonna need lands early and often. I also cut the basic swamp. I don't think it's doing anything for the deck, and it's heavily impeding the Delver plan while only slightly supporting the, the Phoenix plan. So that's out. Extra Volcanic Island in, extra Fetch Land in. And that's what I've done to the deck. Let's see if it works. I'm on the draw in round one. I'm going to keep this hand. It's about as slow as possible. Uh, no red mana, but I do have looting and a Phoenix to discard to it. I have Island Ponder. We keep those. Even in Delver. Oh god, one of these heinous forests. Okay, does... Force of Will get better than Elvish Reclaimer for this matchup. I mean, if they get to hold up a Juka Bog and like all that other shit for the whole game, nah. I'm gonna Force of Will this, pitching my Mark Tide. I have kind of a combo kill in my deck, so I want to play towards that. If my hand just had Lightning Bolt in it, obviously, I'd let that resolve, but it doesn't. Honor time. Let's find some action. Okay, um, you down with DRC? There's a problem with this hand, which is I don't have double red, and the DRC sucks on its own. Buried alive could be good eventually. I don't have a blue card for this force. This might just be a shuffle. Like, I really like the Dragon's Rage channeler. I really wish I could next turn DRC and looting, but I have the basic island. That's why I cut basic swamp from the deck. This island is already hurting me, and swamp is just doesn't cast any spells. I can... Shuffle away Buried Alive. I could shuffle away Force of Will and keep DRC, or I could just shuffle all of this. I'm going to keep Channeler and Force of Will under it. You don't have to do everything all at once. I can play Channeler, see if they answer it. This is a Wasteland deck, though. Just whatever else is going on. Oh, maybe it's Elves. Okay, yeah, Gaia's Cradle is not usually in this deck. All right. And by this deck, I mean whatever uh, green-white version I thought they were playing. Guy's Gradle is obviously in actual elves all the time. Okay, uh they can they have they're holding up a rotation and their deck does play Bajuka Bog. I hope they attack. Please attack. Please attack. Didn't attack. No love. Oh Jesus. <laughs> this is not the deck to Okay. Um I'm just gonna hope that Bajuka Bog's in the sideboard, I guess. Faithless looting. Uh, do I want Thoughtseize in? No, I want Thoughtseize on top, because this is one spell. Thoughtseize is two. If the looting... Oh, I would need exactly a spell underneath that. All right, I'll still keep it on top. Looting. Uh, this fucking basic forest, or basic island is killing me. One, two, Thoughtseize you. Dark Ritual, yes, put that into the graveyard. 
Their hand is two cradles in Dryad Arbor. Okay. Um, well, that sucks. I'm going to... Oh, well, I have to attack. I would have attacked anyway. Like, I'm dead to Bajuka Bog anyway. So, like, go ahead. Get your free block. So they can't block with their 1-2 and rotate because they need to meet a loose flying before the 1-2 can block. So that at least is not the case. Bog is in the main deck. Yeah, no shit. Oh, they can... Oh, no, they only have one elf. All right, yeah. There's not a good block here. Or if they block, they lose their creature, whatever they block with. All right, deal. That makes Reclaimer a larger. Riot Arbor. Allosaurus Shepherd. But I can't hit with Lightning Bolt. Yeah, this one just sort of got a little awkward, and it was all because of the basic island. Maybe that should just be the fourth Valk. Uh, this game is not winnable now. Basic Island actually killed us that game. Like, slow carried that, that loss. All right, this is a good matchup to have three Plague Engineers against. I like the two opposition agents as well. They have Fetchland, Zenith, Natural Order. Lots of things to oppose. Don't really think I need Echoing Truth between Lightning Bolt, Lava Dart. And the snuff outs coming in. Murktide region is pretty important. They're going to have endurance and the Juka Bog and probably crop rotation after board. I don't think I like the buried alives for that reason. You got to make room for seven cards here. That's a lot of cards. Maybe days is bad. I'm just playing to the board here and their spells are what they are. Um, buried alive. If I cut this, it. Removes my heaviest exposure to the Graveyard Hate, and I still have Looting and DRC to do Phoenix-related shenanigans with. And I could cut a Force of Will. I think that's fine. But maybe Dark Ritual is worse than Force of Will. But Ritualing out Opposition Agent is so fucking spicy. Alright, on the play, I'll leave in Dark Ritual. On the draw, I'll probably switch to Force of Will for Game 3. Let's do this thing. This hand is powerful. I'm going to keep it. It needs the, the third land, but I'm ready to go. Got three of a kind with an ace kicker. I would love to draw like any spell, just like a lightning bolt, a thought seize, a, a ponder. Just any, anything that sets these DRCs into the moon is going to be good. Found a bayou and played Savannah. Okay, so they are the white build. Be silence. All right. Well, my phoenixes are sleepy now. Oppo agent. Another one of these. And I don't have echoing truth or any way to remove that, so it's just in play for this game. Is what it is. Extremely interested in my land right now. Yeah. Uh, red. I didn't fetch and play the second DRC last turn because it was just a. Uh, I, I couldn't risk drawing a non-black land and not being able to cast my Engineer. Murder your elf. We got the one for one. They're going to have to spend a card to deal with Plague Engineer also. If they fetch and trade with DRC with Dryad Arbor, I'm okay with that interaction. I was tempted to leave up Opposition Agent in the face of that fetch land, but I don't think that's actually a thing I can do. I'll start leaving it up next turn. Endurance. All right, just... Fat body endurance in play. That one is actually kind of a problem. Okay, this is cool. I can attack with Plague Engineer, offer the Death Touch body, and then I have a second one at the ready. Right, they didn't bite. Right, Arbor from hand. Symbiote, you got it. Right, they're in the neither attacking nor blocking phase of the game. <laughs> okay. Four of a kind. Attack with Plague Engineer. Yeah, it's awkward that I just can't play spells. Endurance is such a beating. Is this what I've been doing to people all this time? Essence Trophy. Okay. Now my basic island is coming in clutch. There it is. See how many elves they can deploy this turn. I kind of hope they go Allosaurus, Shepherd, Natural Order. Zenith for two. Don't mind if I do. Yoink. And they can't kill this because of Deafening Silence. What do I want out of your deck? Also, let's look at your deck. We got Grist in here. Two Swords to Plowshares, two Deafening Silence. Okay, so they do have white. Bajuka Bogs in the, the land pool. All right, how does this opposition inner work? And you may cast a mana of any color. All right, that was the important part. Um, Probably just want Elvish Visionary, right? 
Right. Yeah, I'll take Visionary. Virtual Rangers. Okay. Thoughtseize. That's fun. Um, I probably have to cast it. Oh, wait. Plague Engineer is a black card. All right. I'm going to lead on Elvish Vig. They have to kill Opposition Agent before they can Natural Order, so I'm not super worried about that. Dark Ritual is just a almost dead card. I can loot with or surveil with DRCs with that. Okay, I'm going to go to my second main, cast Dragon's Rage Channeler, and then Thought Seize them and get three surveils. Volcanic Island into the graveyard. Lightning Bolt. Uh, I want that to punch through the Endurance with. Okay. And top, fellas. And strip this Assassin's Trophy. They are Hellbent. Let's do it. If I play Plague Engineer first. All right, Plague Engineer. Start with that. See if they pick up their Virtual Ranger in response. If they do, I'll name a different creature type. All right, so they bounce their Elf. And then I can name Dryad or... Insect. I'm going to name Insect because that also checks Grist. And I'm going to attack with most of my creatures. I think Opposition Agent is still too important. Lightning Bolt the Endurance and get three Surveil triggers. See how much damage I can put on my opponent's face. Uh, Lightning Bolt. Do I want another one of those? Or am I just shredding? It's a good card, but I'm shredding. Graveyard. Graveyard. Graveyard, fuck yeah, Lava Dart. Opponents at five. Okay. Feeling good about this game. Oh, I should have Lava Darted the Dryad Arbor in their upkeep. Not that it super mattered, but that would have been cool. Okay, Deafening Silence makes Dark Ritual very bad. I could bring in Echoing Truth for that. I was going to cut a Dark Ritual for a Force anyway, and I think that does improve my world significantly here. I can always hard cast Phoenixes, just get to four mana and, and do it. And that's actually a permanent they have a really hard time interacting with, other than with Endurance, which I do have my forces and snuff outs prepared to deal with. I don't think I want Echoing Truth. That's just not really what this game's about. Even if they do have these hate things. Yeah, let's do it this way. This one's a little awkward. It has Plague Engineer and... Delver. Uh, no Swamp, the Snuff Out. I'm still going to keep it, though. This is highly interactive in the early turns, which is when I need to do that. I don't think you can mulligan a hand with Plague Engineer. I mean, obviously, like, a no-lander, but sure. But any, like, playable hand with Plague Engineer is a keep against Elves. Elvish Reclaimer. I could spend my force on this. Just slow down literally anything. I really don't want them to get Cradle. And this is the Elf that survives. Okay, I'm going to force it. That elf doesn't die to Plague Engineer, and it also represents a lot of power over time. Okay, cool. Have the swamp now. Let's find land number three. Awesome. Okay, this did everything I wanted it to do. Ooh, there's a, a world where I just keep all of these, and I Faithless Looting next turn. Like, DRC, Faithless Looting... Faithless Looting Snuff Out is two spells. I think I'm just keeping all of this. Depending on what they do, I can decide if I want to be aggressive or controlling. Like, I could DRC, fetch another red source, Faithless Looting, just hope that between looting and surveil, I come up with another black source slash third land. Oh, Lava Dart one-time dealer. <laughs> I know it's on top of my deck. Okay, um... I guess if I make that play, then I am all the way locked out of Snuff Out. That's not a, a plan I want to commit to. Yeah, it's a shame I don't have a Badlands in the deck. Maybe Basic Swamp, Basic Island should be Badlands. Because right now I want to fetch red and have a Swamp, which is things I can't do both of. Oh, maybe I was supposed to looting instead of play DRC, then I draw a land mystery card. Discard Arclight Phoenix and something. And if that mystery card is a spell, I like I can ponder, snuff out. That's three spells. In we go. Just determining if I need to snuff out the Squarian Ranger. I think I do. I can't snuff out the Dryad Arbor because they'll pick it up. Which is a shame because that is the one that I want to kill. And I'm looking for the third land. I just shuffled away the third land that I knew was there. 
I'm playing conservatively here. They were untapping into natural order, and I can't beat Progenitus, so I had to make a move there, even though next turn would have been fireworks if I was able to hold on to my snuff out. We didn't see a choke in their deck last game. Oh, that's actually great. That gives me the third land that I was looking for. Deal. All right, now the question is, do I name Dryad when they clearly have nothing? Like, I could just hit them with a, a Stone Rain here. I could also just cast Arclight Phoenix. But then my looting gets a lot worse. No, I'm actually in for that. True name Nemesis, baby. They're not very good at interacting with a flyer. I could Plague Engineer Elemental, and then my Phoenix can rumble with Endurance in combat. Okay. They have, they're having a mini glimpse here. I guess, yeah, Virtual Arrangers could make it a medium glimpse, but any medium glimpse plays into Plague Engineer. Though, of course, they are uh, drawing cards along the way. That's not the blowout you'd hope for. Wirewood Symbiote's really nice. Let's them dance around. Not commit any extra creatures to the glimpse while still drawing a card. Delver of Secrets. Okay. Um, start with Plague Engineer. See if they pick up their elf. They did pick up their elf. I'm going to name Dryad. They've been hurting for mana for a while. Let's keep it that way. They did just draw a bunch of cards last turn. But now I'm trying to push through. Delver, another flyer. Let's go. The Dryad Arbor could represent two or more mana. Like if they have Cradle, it's good for... It's one mana in play. Cradle makes it two. Wirewood Symbiote makes it pretty easy to get three mana out of that thing in a turn. They have three mana. They have four mana right now. They could actually natural order. This sucks. My flyers would have to. Delver would have to flip immediately, and then we're racing Progenitus. Okay. Uh, they can cast Endurance right now, also, which is something I need to pay attention to. Yeah, they realized that they should probably just cast it now. Okay, my graveyard's gone. Come on, Delver. I would like to reveal Faithless Looting. We get a flip. Then I can loot, discarding the other looting. Nice. Welcome to Blowout City. They can save one of these elves and lose the other. I could name Elemental now and just punch through the Endurance. Or do I name Elf and try to control it another way? I mean, my Death Touch attackers are pretty good. All right. I'm just going to name Elf. Just make sure I don't get comboed out in between here. Here comes my Death Touch attacker. I'll be able to go wide around the Endurance. Eventually. Morph creature. That's Virtual Arranger. They picked that up last turn, and it's the only morph that's in this deck anyway. That can trade with a Plague Engineer. Okay, there is a Phoenix in my graveyard and a Looting. If I ponder into Dark Ritual, I can actually make something happen here. <laughs> As you do. Um, I would have to mill my Merktide Regent. Do I care about that? Probably not. Draw. Dark Ritual, Flashback Looting, which just mills these two cards off the top of my deck and triggers Phoenix. What do attacks look like? They eat Delver with Endurance. They take six in the air. Yeah, they're going to lose most of their board to stay alive this turn. They end up with Wirewood Symbiote, and they're at, uh, uh, they keep the Endurance too. Um, they go to two. Dead to Bolt, Dead to Lava Dart. Oh, they're making a block with Wirewood Symbiote, too. That's actually great. That makes Natural Order a lot worse. It makes Cradle worse. They're staying out of Bolt range. Okay, cool. Deal. Now they need Land and Natural Order, and Hoof isn't good enough. They have to get Progenitus, which just dies because it can't block Flyers. It doesn't have Reach. Visionary. Uh, looks like they're digging for Swords to Plowshares specifically because they tap their Cradle before the creature. Yeah, Plow is the card I have to think about here. Faithless Looting gives me two looks uh, for a Lightning Bolt. They still can't fetch Dryad Arbor to surprise block with because the correct Plague Engineer is still in play. Ooh. The opposition is here. That cuts off most of their outs. I'm just going to start turning my idiot sideways. Swords to Plowshares is the best card they could have, and even that doesn't like save them here. It's just fine. They plow. They can eat a Phoenix and take two. Alright. They ate the other phoenix and pass the turn. Sure. So now it's death touch creature versus three four. I'm going to oppo agent this fetch land. Surprise! 
obviously that was a pretty hot top deck, but at the same time, it's like, uh, I'm going to take Bayou, by the way. That actually makes a color that I can use. It was a hot top deck, but they should have, or could have read that I had a good top deck because I didn't flashback looting when I have so many good spells in my deck right now. Like, that fetch lane also puts them dead to bolt. Can't natural order, can't zenith here. I have another attacker now. Can still flashback looting. E silence. Okay, my phoenix is staying sleepy now. Okay, I'm going to brainstorm. That's my spell for the turn. Thoughtseize snuff out. Okay, cool. I'm going to put Faithless Looting and Thoughtseize on top of the deck. Play my land. I can snuff out on their turn. Still making my attack for two. See if they're ready to trade Endurance yet, or if they're still chumping. Or go to one. Like, you're already in bolt range. But they did see Lava Dart last game, too. Alright, whatever. Here we are. Should probably snuff this immediately. I don't think they have Veil of Summer, and this takes a mana off the Cradle, too. Once upon a time in response, yeah, just using mana where they can with the Cradle. We found Elvish Reclaimer. That is a 3-4. But they're dead to one of my attackers, and the other has Death Touch. There's a forced block here. But it's the good block. It, it forces the correct block. Okay, damn it. That's backwards. I'm drawing Thoughtseize. Is that a card I want? Might as well take a look, I guess. I'm going to attack first, though. I don't want them to know what they're looking for. Death Touch Creature, go in. Took the trade. And here's my spell for the turn. Taking Zenith. Okay. Uh, their hand is Cradle. They're dead on board. Let's go. Symbiote. Okay. So we're just in the Abyss now. That is a place that I like to be. I'm going to cast Looting from my Graveyard. That lets me keep a card in my hand. And if one of them is Lightning Bolt, which it is, they're just dead. I'm just going to Bolt in their upkeep. No reason to get fancy here. They're Hellbent. Oh, wait, they're not Hellbent. They have one card in their hand. Oh, it's Cradle. Never mind. All right, now they've taken a draw. I don't think I'm going to need this Bolt, but it's here if I do. All right, we got a little taste of everything that match. I like it. On to the next round. I'm on the play in round number two. I'm going to keep this hand that has Delver and Daze in it. It also has Island Ponder, so we would have had to keep it even if it didn't have all these other great cards. Those are the rules. Interesting situation now. I got... Hammered pretty hard on my basic island in game one of last round. But I have all the colors now. How hard is it going to hurt my velocity if I hang on to... Like, should I just lead on Underground Sea? I don't want to... Her Volcanic Island is the one that I'd want to cast two spells off of, but I don't have two spells. Yeah, I'm just going to basic island. I have Ponder. My opponent mulled a five. So they're either a broken deck or an unlucky deck. Find out together which one. Mountain, Grindstone. Uh, that's not what I want to fight over. I'm not going to aggro flip my Delver with this Brainstorm. I'll take my chances to flip it naturally and then get card advantage out of the Brainstorm, etc. I'd rather have a good Brainstorm most of the time. Okay, I can... I'm going to put the two lands back. And then I'm going to fetch for Volcanic Island. And I'm going to Ponder. This sets up Delver for next turn. JK, there's two Phoenixes. Uh, shuffle those. Okay, Delver is not set up for next turn, but I do have an answer to Painter Servant plus Daze. Like, I can fight over Painter Servant and then also Bolt Painter Servant. And Grindstone doesn't matter, as long as Painter's not in play. Oh, well, can't Daze that one. That was a good multi five. Uh, but that's why you multi five. Uh, okay, I just revealed Dark Ritual, which is actually fucking awesome, because that means I get to Lightning Bolt the Painter, Daze the Pyroblast, and then Dark Ritual Buried Alive, and go to Phoenix Town. I'm going to float blue and cast Daze on this, picking up my basic island. Right. Then Painter dies, and then the Dark Ritual Buried Alive. And yeah, this basic should definitely be a Badlands, though. I wouldn't have been able to daze off of Badlands. I have another land, obviously, but yeah, there's some give and take on that. That's going to be probably the toughest slot in the deck to figure out. But look at this turn, by the way. This is the Delver Phoenix life. Cheap interaction, and we just get to pivot into attacking for 12 on turn 3. 
Oh yeah, Phoenix Delver. Playing against Painter. Uh, snuff out. Painter is a non-black creature, and interacting with it for free could be important. Echoing Truth, medi of medium importance. Plague Engineer doesn't do anything. They're probably a Saga deck, so Opposition Agent isn't textless, but I'm not sure if I want it. On the draw against the Ancient Tomb deck, but they're a mana-hungry Ancient Tomb deck. Uh, Days, Days is questionable. I think Lava Dart is not going to find a target, unless they're a Welder build, which is not really popular these days. I could also always bring in Pyroblast on the level system of, like, if they name blue, my Pyroblasts are on. If they name a different color, they're off. And we could try to play that game, which I generally don't like playing. You also don't need four Phoenixes in the deck. Buried Alive finds all three of them. But four Phoenix is better for DRC and Faithless looting. Yeah, there's a little tension there. Maybe Murktide Regent comes out against the deck with a million main deck Pyroblasts. Murktide Regent days come out. These black cards come in. I actually like that quite a bit. The Echoing Truths are the last question mark. You like I usually try to min-max. Like How many hate cards do I need to bring in while still having as much of my proactive deck together as possible? There's also the school of thought that you just bring in every answer to their combo and make sure that that doesn't happen to you as often as possible. And Echoing Truth does answer the combo. If you bounce Painter in response to Grindstone, you just get milled for two instead of everything. What would I cut if that was the plan? Probably be Buried Alive and Buried Alive. I would just cut two Buried Alives. Or I could cut Buried Alive in one of the dazes. All right, I'm going to subscribe to the Try Not to Die on the draw plan. Uh, this hand's fine. I'm going to keep it. My Faithless Looting with a Phoenix to Disc... Oh, gee. Well, good thing I have Echoing Truth in my deck. I hope they kept a bad hand to have access to that ley line. Two forces, pretty nice. Getting Volcanic Island, Casting Ponder. Looking for lands here. Oh, they're just aggro. Blasting, sure. I'm not going to fight over that. I do need a second land, but if this game takes forever, that's fine. Oh, they kept a one lander with multiple Pyroblasts, I think. That's what I'm going to play like. All right, you have 20 turns to figure this out. Oh, they're starting to figure it out. Painter, I have a lightning bolt in my hand. I can wait. And they did just choose blue. Now I can pitch anything to force a will. That's a good time. I'm going to lightning bolt before my draw step. I am trying to find this land. The way they played, I expect a pyroblast. I hope they don't target my land with it, but they would have done that on their turn if that was the plan. Uh, second DRC into the graveyard. They're pyroblasting my lightning bolt. I think force pitching Phoenix is the play. The Phoenix is nice with the faithless looting, but it is definitely the worst card in my hand, just on on its face. Goblin engineer. I think that's okay. They need an artifact to flip things, and they don't currently have one. I'm gonna bounce leyline in my upkeep. That'll fix my draw step for DRC. I would love to see a land and just cast this looting. Uh, I could invest in the future or just bid this Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix is exiled forever. Two Phoenix is gone. The ley line did what it was supposed to do. I did find a blue card to back up my, my force though. Kind of sucks that I have to basically force any artifact. Don't need to fight over the second one of these. They still don't have an artifact to start welding with. Nearing bridge. Okay, there's a grindstone on the stack. If they activate grindstone, yeah, I think I do need to force this. Hurts, but okay. DRC. A dark ritual into the graveyard, please. It's not a card I want. Getting rowdy with an attack. They have been tapping Ancient Tomb a lot. If I can get this Dragon Rage Channeler in the air. Ooh, Faithless Looting is really interesting. I only get to keep one card at the end of that cycle. All right, I'm just going to Bolt Engineer, or I can save Bolt for Painter. But Faithless Looting right now is basically just Mill 3, because I can't keep the second card. All right, I'm going to Bolt Goblin Engineer and try to move forward with my Velocity. Put that one on top. That also kills Painter. Or Goblin Engineer, whatever's needed. 
this one point of damage puts them to a even life total. That's one less turn they can tap Ancient Tomb. All right, there's the Painter. I am prepared for that temporarily. Okay, so Faithless Looting, I cast it, I draw two, I... Yeah, Snuff Out ends up being the last card in my hand, which is not what I want it to be. So just straight up milling three here, whatever they are. I think waiting a turn is better, because they don't have a Grindstone. And Painter can flip Grindstone into Painter in response to Grindstone, but you can't, like, flip Painter into Grindstone and still have Painter's effect in play. So they have it backwards here. And I was not going to jam my most important spell just into a easy Pyroblast. Okay, cool. Now the looting gets to do looting things. Buried alive. Yeah, put that in the graveyard. ERC. I have two card types. Yeah, I haven't had a fetch land yet, yet this game. That kind of is rough. I'm going to ship the other DRC, cast Brainstorm. We're looking for a land in the graveyard here. Okay. Into the graveyard with you. DRC is riding now. And I'm going to put Volcanic Island and Ponder on top. Or maybe I should have done that the other way. Because now if I end up snuffing out, I have to mill my Ponder instead of the Island. All right. They did not indicate that they have anything to advance this board state last turn. I mean, they could weld Painter into Grindstone, untap, hope to draw a land, and then weld them back. That probably was the play, actually, that they just didn't take. And I don't need to act until they do something. Like, if they put a Pyroblast on the stack or whatever. Okay, they currently have no red mana available. Snuff out's free. I can ponder, see where that goes. All right, I was rewarded by the way I stacked it, because now Ponder gets to mill the Underground Sea and see three fresh cards. So it was, or the, the Volcanic Island. It was better that way. Dark Ritual, Ponder, Island. Uh, yeah, I'll take the Ponder. Mill the Dark Ritual and look at three more cards. Ponder. I'm really interested in a Lightning Bolt here. Graveyard. Three fresh ones. Okay, another Ponder. That's not what I want. I can Ponder and Mill Island again. Ponder is a good card next turn. I could... Okay, I could also... With Ponder in my hand, snuff out, mill a land, Ponder, mill the other land, look at three fresh cards. I'm going to attack first, and I think I want to snuff the, the Painter now when they don't have red protection. This next turn, they can... What happens if they have, like, Mox Opal? They can weld Mox Opal into Grindstone. They need another mana. Yeah, if they have zero mana artifact plus mana source, which they haven't indicated they have either for this whole game, I'm going to snuff the Painter. Island into the graveyard. Painter's dead. Ponder could find the other snuff out and act and have action now, or the lightning bolt and have action next turn. Days. Ooh, is Days actually good? I don't think so. This is a shuffle. Hey! <laughs> Sometimes you just find the other snuff out. That's a good lightning bolt. Okay. Yeah, they might just try beating me down here. That's not an unreasonable plan. My life total is at the point where snuff out leaves me dead to bolt. I need a threat. Just suddenly. Flashback, looting. Uh, there's a phoenix. And that's one spell. Okay. I'm going to put discard phoenix and land. Opposition agent can at least stabilize the board against their beats. I do go to five, which is snuff out to one. I'm dead to lightning bolt right now, actually. Magus of the moon. Wow, that's a beating. You can't float having a swamp. And kill this. Uh, Lightning Bolt's in my deck. Whatever. Let's do this. Lightning Bolt was my best draw anyway. Let's just find one. I mean, they're literally dead to Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt. Ah! <laughs> Sometimes this happens. All right. I drew pretty well this match. No doubt about it. Thanks for tapping that Ancient Tomb. We remain undefeated with Phoenix Delver. We're a few rounds into the video. Thanks for sticking with me. Friendly reminder that if you're still here and having fun, smash that subscribe button. And if you want to play what I'm playing, you can use my affiliate link for TCG Player to support the channel while you shop for cards. And you can try any deck anytime with a cardhoarder.com loan account for Magic Online. All these links are in the video description below. Now back to the league. I'm on the draw in round three. 
This hand's fine. I'm going to keep it a little reactive, but that's okay. Got a misty rainforest strategy. Basic island ponder. Wow, broken. They did not shuffle that ponder. Let's draw DRC right now. Lava dart. I saw the red mana cost and was like, oh yeah, we did it. We did not do it. I think I should get red going because faithless looting is pretty important. And if I find like land DRC off of this, all right, I did find land DRC, but not the land I wanted. I'll take land Delver though. Next turn, I'm going to play Delver and DRC, and then I have Days back up, and I can manipulate the top of my deck with Lava Dart in my upkeep. Oh, speaking of Lava Dart, I'll point it right at that. Kind of weird they main phased that, but okay. I'm not mad about it. Okay, uh, I should play Dragon's Rage Channeler first. In case they want to fight over the Delver, then I get a trigger off the days. Here are my cards. I'm so excited to Lava Dart this Coatl in my upkeep. Brainstorm, sure. Another basic land. I think I want to force here. I lose the days, but let's keep this velocity pushing forward. I want to mill this. That was always the plan. It didn't have a main deck Bale of Summer. It's fortunate for me. All right, I'm going to upkeep in response to Delver's trigger. Zap the Ice Fang Coatl. What's up, Lava Dart? Uh, Brainstorm can stay on top. That flips Delver. And we draw. And I cast Brainstorm also. Misty Rainforest can stay on top. I am interested in lands here. Phoenix. Okay. How does that work? Uh, I put these... I don't want the land. I don't want the Phoenix either. Uh, but Phoenix facilitates looting. If I put land Phoenix on top, bolt in the upkeep to mill Phoenix. Is that the way I want to do that? Yeah, that gives me bolt, a dead Phoenix, faithless looting. Okay. And lava dart. Okay, so I can... Oh, I... Could I have Phoenix to now? With the lava dart? I forgot about that. I don't know if I want to jam all that into endurance, but it was there. Okay, that's not a green source. That's sweet relief. Oh, that's not sweet relief. All right, whatever. I have to do this the hard way. We bounced my Delver and plowed my DRC. Boo, angry noises from my mouth. Right, I'm drawing Phoenix. I can fetch a red source and then Faithless Looting. That's one spell. Fuck yeah. One spell, two spells, Lightning Bolt, your Dome, Lava Dart, your Teferi, go to combat, please don't have Endurance, it's a two for one even if you do, hell yeah. Delver side of the deck, distracted them long enough for the Phoenix side of the deck to show up. Lava Dart, putting in work also. And here's Delver for good measure. Please don't have Terminus. Yikes, I did not play around Terminus. Not every control deck has a real sweeper right now, but I think that these uh, pure Bant builds do with all these basics. Like, I should be thinking about Terminus at least a little bit. Another plow. Another plow. My god. Okay. My arrogance. Delver's asking me if I want to reveal the card. Is the card Arclight Phoenix? I can't even tell. Okay, it is. Yeah. Moto was slightly confusing for a moment there. Phoenix is a great draw. Uh, they're at five. I'm not going to offer this trade right now. I could reasonably push real damage through in the near future. And just giving up my Delver to an Ice Fang Coatl. Not exciting. I think Bolting Coatl gets three damage through more than once. Oh wow, that was worth a force of will. Going Hellbent. My goodness. Okay. Here we are. All right, if they crack that fetch, they're dead to Bolt. Looted Delta, don't reveal that. That does let me cast Looting from my graveyard and get a Phoenix in there. And it's from the graveyard, so I do get to keep a card. Flashback Looting. Uh, buried Alive Dark Ritual, interesting. Um, there's not much left to bury alive, but I'll keep the Dark Ritual. That is a spell I can cast. And yeah, maybe I should have held on to the Phoenix and just tried to draw a land. They cracked their fetch, they're at three. Please don't have Uro. Ever. 
uh, Underground Sea. Yeah, casting Phoenix would have been pretty great here. Just passing the turn. Now we're in that sweat phase where it's like, I'm ahead right now, and most of my draws are better than most of their draws, but they do have Uro in their deck. Fuck, Narset's also really good. Narset found Terminus. Okay, Terminus confirmed to be in their deck, and it's the one card in their hand. Days, yes. Okay. Delver has flipped. Um, I am not going to cast this Days. I could... No, I still don't have attacks, though. There's just nothing going on right now. Ice Fang Coatl holding the whole board. I think they'd be dead right now if I had kept the the Phoenix in hand. But I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty. I could also just like draw a red spell. Okay, Ponder. Are you good? I mean, it does trigger Phoenix. Yeah, I guess they're dead, right? If they're one card in hand. Yeah, if their one card in hand isn't a removal spell, they actually just lose here. Merktide Rage on top. Don't shuffle. And then I'm going to play Underground Sea. I'm going to cast Dark Ritual, holding priority, days my Dark Ritual, pick up Underground Sea. And they conceded. That was a squeaker, my goodness. Okay, Pyroblast coming in. Terminus is scary. Don't like that. I think I want Fluster Storms. I'm not actually sure if I'm supposed to... I guess their deck has really few win cons if they lose their Uros. And Surgical is a free spell. That sounds good. Opposition Agent. Put that in the maybe zone. I think that Dark Ritual and Buried Alive are all bad here. Like, we have... Like, there, there are some combo lines like it is nice to just like suddenly have three creatures in play but this deck has endurance in it it has a bunch of spot removal it also has terminus i, I just don't think coming out quick is going to be the answer they also have force of will like you, they can i think that the small ball game like the delver strat with the lootings and drcs to enable phoenix is probably better uh lava dart's not great though so, it doesn't hit any... Oh, nope. It has... Their deck is full of Coatles. Lava Dart actually won me that game by clearing out the Coatle and let me push through it. So, no, Lava Dart's great. Under Delver, Daze. Is Daze bad on the draw? Okay, so if my Daze's come out, I still have my Forces, and that lets me keep one of these cards. I'm going to keep one of the Buried Alives. Or is it one of the Dark Rituals? That's actually tight. Like, Dark Ritual Oppo Agent is the line, but... Putting one Dark Ritual in my deck just seems so bad. And even having one Buried Alive, you could reasonably end up in a mid-game where just putting three Phoenixes in the graveyard threatens something. So I have Echoing Truth, it just like Bounce of Planeswalker, but nah. Alright, I'm doing it this way. I like this hand, I'll keep it. Got a threat and some card selection. Deafening Silence, okay, that's been a popular one today. My Phoenixes are now four drops. Speaking of which... All right, DRC, get in there. The Delver half of the deck is really nice against Deafening Silence because normally, like, if I were actually a Phoenix deck dedicated, this would be backbreaking. Oh my god. They kept a one lander on the strength of Deafening Silence. That card's not even good. Okay, uh, how am I going to punish this? I guess I Faithless Looting, Swing for the Fences. Uh, do I want Lightning Bolt? Nah, I'm going to work on filling the graveyard now. Oppo Agent 2 Phoenixes. Do I discard these and then they're just gone? Or do I want them as four drops later? Yeah, I mean, that's what they're in the deck to be, to happen. Um, I, I can attack for three here, so I will. I am going to fetch red. That lets me cast spells on their turn. And I have the third mana for the Oppo Agent, which hopefully will be a giant punish against this one lander. Okay, pondering again. That means if I bolt them, they can't counter it this turn because of their own silence. Wow. Yeah, I'm just pushing damage in. I'm going to bolt. I can't do it on my turn anyway. Just keep pushing. Looted Delta into the graveyard. I already have my third land. I don't need four. Except for Phoenix, which I already milled two of. Okay, because of their deafening silence, I'm actually guaranteed to win the fight over my opposition agent. Like, they... 
I cast Opposition Agent, which is a creature spell. They cast a non-creature spell to counter it. I counter back, and I win. Oh, nice fetch land right on time. Please crack it, please crack it. Beast Storm, okay. I'm going to sit on this Opposition Agent as long as it takes for it to get value. As much as I hate betraying the, the wonderful world of Bant Control, this is certainly good for me right now. Okay, drawing this land means that I can brainstorm and still cast Opposition Agent. But I think holding up the Force is better. Let's see what they do. Oh, they cracked. Okay, um, it's Opposition Agent time. And even if they have the Plow, I have the Force, and they can't cast any extra spells. So here we are. Force of Will, pitching Ice Bank Waddle. Force of Will, pitching Brainstorm. It's like I boarded in Deafening Silence this game. That was awesome. I think that was a misunderstanding of the rules pretty significantly. I mean, the card is fine, but I, I would not keep a one-lander on the strength of it. God. Okay, 3-0. and oh. Keep it going. On the draw in round four. I'm going to keep this hand. I think it's one of the worst hands I would keep, but it does have Force of Will. It's got lands to play. This was a good deck to have Force of Will against. Uh, force pitching days. I think I need this ponder to make the hand do anything. Oh wow. Now the hand really doesn't do anything. They're a blue chalice deck. And they pitched Thopter Foundry. Okay. I've probably lost. Okay, another force is nice. But uh, I basically have to hard cast Phoenixes or Merktide Regents to win this game. Alright, well, it's starting. <laughs> I have force for their next thing, whatever their next thing is. Probably Urza. They pitched Thopter Foundry to this, and then they didn't have a play on turn two. They don't have a play with four mana either. Alright, I mean, one land away from the birds taking flight. Ox Opal, two cards left in their hand. Okay. They considered playing spells and then changed their mind. How about a land? <laughs> okay. Another Phoenix. Now they're ready to tap their mana. They weren't last turn. Oh. Oh, can I even beat that in the main deck? Yeah, literally no outs to that. I am required to force a will this, which sucks because I don't have a creature, but that's what I get for playing a deck with no answers to stuff. Yikes. All right, this one is uh, slowly slipping away. There was a window there that I think we could have tempoed them out with Hardcast Phoenix. Float blue. Great. Yeah, there's no Abrade, no Brazen Borrower, no Prismatic Ending. It's been a long time since I gave a shit about Chalice of the Void. This is wild. Transmute. Oh, God, they trans... Oh, concede, 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 concede. I don't want them to see my hand. All right, I gave it up. All right, yeah, they transmute Artifact for Sorcerer's Spyglass named Misty Rainforest. I was already dead, but uh, before they see my hand and know exactly what I'm up to. Okay, well, there's that shit. Pyroblast going to be good here. Echoing Truth going to be good. Uh, if they have Transmute Artifact, I probably want Opposition Agent. I want Plague Engineer naming Thopter. That's going to be important. I don't think I can have Dark Ritual against the Chalice of the Void deck, even if it is explosive. Uh, I think this is going to be like a grind until I can cast Phoenix kind of plan. My forces are good. Uh, Lava Dart's probably really bad. Lightning Bolt, I don't expect to have a lot of targets either. They're probably an Emery deck. But Lightning Bolt is soft to Chalice. Okay, I'm gonna get off of my Lightning Bolts and leave one Buried Alive in the deck. I guess, is one Chalice, or one Bolt better than one Buried Alive? Probably. Yeah, I'll leave one Bolt in here. Ooh, Snuff Out could actually be really good too. A Snuff Out's better than Bolt. It ignores... Chalice and can kill Urza, Emery, whatever on turn one. Is there another card I can cut to get the other snuff out in here? I like Days on the play. I like Thoughtseize. I like the rest of these cards. I could go down to three Phoenix. Without the Buried Alives, though, four is better for the reasons described last game. Oh, that's still not enough cards. How did this happen? Oh, because Bolt's up here. All right. This is how this happens. I'm going to do it like this. Or just a uh, miserable Grixis draft deck aggro here. 
Just three mana, two, two, three mana, three, two, four mana, three, two flying. Okay, I'm going to keep this. I can get in with a threat before the chalice. And then I can daze their early play. Murky Rage is waiting. This hand has game to it. I'll play draw with Delver versus Chalice decks. The Ancient Battle. All right, you want to waste me when you're behind against the Delver? Deal. That's also part of the Ancient Battle. I did not flip for the punish. That's okay. BRC is a really good follow-up. As far as cards that don't flip my Delver go, I will take this one. In for one. And they just play a land. I could brainstorm here for maximum velocity. I think I want to do that. This is a good time to push my advantage. Murktide region into the graveyard. Brainstorm resolves. Put. Do I want them to know about days? They can know about Echoing Truth. Okay. Put Echoing Truth on top. Yes. Reveal that. Draw. Ready to Murktide next turn. Know about Echoing Truth. They don't know about days. Truth answers Saga tokens if it has to. That Mox Opal is not on right now. Now it is. They have exactly three mana. Elfal Strix. Okay. That's a really good one. Top card on my deck is Plague Engineer. I'm just going to draw that. And I can Murktide Regent set up for the future. I guess I can attack with Dragon's Rage Channeler. Give them my, my shitty creature if they want to trade. Right, they do want to trade. Cool. And keeping artifacts off the board does matter. And that was never going to get delirious because I'm about to mark anyway. Murko. This is a Marka. Constructs don't interact with my beatdown plan right now. The mere signet I don't care about. Right, they have four mana suddenly. Thought monitor. That's powerful. Not really something you want to echoing truth either. But I can attack through it at least. They've done a really good job dancing around days this whole game. Despite... Waste landing me on turn one. Uh, okay, I drew Force of Will. If I Echoing Truth this thing, I can attack for seven, and then I have Force and Force or Days, not Force and Days. Then I have Force to push through the second round. Of, uh, but they have the the thing in their deck, in, in, in Snaring Bridge, whatever. I could just attack for four. I don't need to attack for three. Okay, I'm attacking for four. Really wish I drew a land this turn to pick up their Urza Saga. I'll take that Retrofitter Foundry, thank you. They're making a construct on the way out, okay. Wonder what they're tutoring for. They got Mishra's Bauble, sure. Another Saga. Helpful Strix. If I draw the, the Swamp, I don't care about that. If I don't draw the Swamp, I care about that deeply. Alright, it resolves. I brought in these fair tools. Let's try to use them. Casting Sorcerer Spyglass. That I don't care about. Or they could name a fetch land. But yeah, I don't care about that either. Okay, resolves. They're probably going to name a random fetch land with this, and I hope it's not the one that I draw. Oh, Wasteland. Deal. That's not a card in my deck. Come on, fetch land. Black Source off the top. Yes. We're in there. This is a bird and just a bird. Had to check if it was like a bird construct or bird thopter. Just a bird. And put you to four. Tap that ancient tomb again, you're dead to bolt, which is not in my deck, but you don't need to know that. Constructs a six a five five. They can make it a six six by making another construct. Echoing Truth can sweep up any number of constructs. If they have something like ensnaring bridge, I can force it on the way down and truth it once it's there if they have two layers of protection i do have two layers of disruption right now plus all of my creatures are much smaller than ensnaring bridge right now because they have six cards in their hand all right they're just making a construct heads up oh that's why uh, i'm not gonna fight over that i can echoing truth that and push for lethal on my turn i'm not gonna trade my plague engineer for their seven seven either like, if they post-combat cast Baleful Strix, I would feel really bad about that. Okay, I have Echoing Truth for their Jerk and Force and Daze to make sure it works. Echoing Truth, your Jerk. And if in this interaction they tap their Ancient Tomb to, pr 
to cast a spell. Misdirection. Fascinating. Well, I'm going to force that. Pitching the Delver. Okay. Yeah, that was just basically... That was worse than Force of Will for me, but they only had one layer protection anyway. Misdirections in this deck. Jeez. Okay, I have all my answers to Chalice in already. The thought monitors are concerning. I wish my deck did have Wasteland in it, but it doesn't. Uh, Days wasn't even good on the play, so I'm going to shave one and get another threat in here on the draw. Got a mulligan this no lander. Well, that's another no lander. Keep this two lander and pray to whatever deity you believe in that they don't have chalice. I think I got a ship pyroblast and ponder. Okay, no chalice maybe. All right, island doesn't cast chalice, that's for sure. I want to thought seize them first and see if I can clear the chalice, and then I'll deploy double delver next turn. Chalice Baleful Strix and two Wastelands. Jeez, that's this is a hateful, hateful deck. They can't cast that Strix, but they don't need to. There's one of the Wastelands. Now the basic island would be a great find. You hear that deck? Wink, wink. Hey, sometimes deck building. Give and take. It's taken before, now it's giving. Please don't find a black source or any spell to cast. All right, see to the Synod. And they're passing. Delver, let's ride. Not reveal Arclight Phoenix, unfortunately. I'm going to ponder. If I find Faithless Looting, I get some sweet velocity. Okay, just aggro Fluster Storm. Deal. Hope you don't need that later. Another Delver. Oh wow, Force Pitching Baleful Strix. What are they doing? Holy shit. Okay, they are really aggressively betting that they can function on lower resources than me. There's the Wasteland. All right, Delver, let's, let's show this person what Legacy's about. Scalding Tarn is not what Legacy's about. Delver, get in there. They have three cards in their hand, one of them Seat of the Synod. There's the Seat. Now I can do the fetch land trick where I get to look with Delver. If I don't like it, I can shuffle it away. Don't reveal this card. And then also fetch. Want red mana. Okay. I mean, Daze is not bad in this position as far as spots where Daze could be playable. This low resource game they've subscribed to is a reasonable one. Well, there's Urza Saga. It looks like they're going to win this bet. I need Delver to flip like yesterday. Snuff out. Yes. Okay. At least Delver flipped, even if I don't have a Swamp right now. Their mana is going to be tight. If they want to be creating constructs and casting spells, Days can stop one or the other. But I'm probably just going to lose to Shadow Spear very quickly here. If I had the Swamp, I wouldn't be so worried about it, but I think I am going to lose this game. If their deck has a Shadow Spear, which it, it has to, right? That's, that's pretty standard these days. Two Constructs, here comes the Moment of Truth. Oh, they got Mox Opal. That's not Shadow Spear. Emery, okay. Emery milled a Chalice. And they get to attack for six here. Okay. Come on, deck. Help me out. Dragon's Rage Channeler on top of the deck. That's not what I wanted. It does chump block for a turn. To attack with my Flyer, put you to seven, which is still not enough. Damn it. We're going to lose this because Delver flipped one turn later than it needed to. Oh, they're going to cast a spell in my instep. Give me a target for days. That's a deal. Okay. Gives me a little bit of selection. Put Phoenix into the graveyard. Okay. Okay. If I draw a cantrip into cantrip into land for snuff out. Oh, God. Don't think I can beat Thopter Foundry regardless. Okay, so they're attacking with their jerks. I have to block one of them. Uh, I think Delver is the blocker here. Okay, are they going to play the Chalice? Second main. If they do, that cuts off a lot of my outs. Yeah, they're going for Chalice. And the Thopter Foundry was a pretty strong hit anyway. Uh, Echoing Truth. I could still win this game. Come on, Echoing Truth. Delver. Okay. And we attack them to one, but... Thopter Foundry is here anyway. Yeah, this was a close one. This was a mull to five on the draw. 
I think my opponent played this pretty aggressively, like much more aggressively than was necessary. But it ended up working out. Urza Saga is a hell of a payoff. GG's though. That was a pretty exciting Delver match. And just to point out, the deck building was a cost here because we flipped Arclight Phoenix or drew out Arclight Phoenix on a turn where we needed to flip Delver. And this is a card that wouldn't normally be in a Delver deck. This probably would have been some sort of spell in a traditional Delver deck. So we have gotten some people on the, the pivot into Phoenix, but we also have been gotten by drawing these shitty Phoenixes with no way to use them. Give and take. On to the final round. I'm on the draw in the final round. We're playing for that 4-1, the bread and butter. Positive records locked. I'm keeping my hand. This is a hand that would be much better on the play, but welcome to Delver. This is a hand that Buried Alive would actually be a sweet draw in. But I am happy to get my DRC into play. Drawing the second channeler is also really nice. That just gives me a backup if they sort to plowshares. If they just end step plow, I'm going to daze it. But if they untap and do stuff, this person does not watch my channel. I would have untapped, made my land drop, and then fought over this. Or made the daze irrelevant. Lightning Bolt can go into the graveyard against this deck. Wow, we're getting a force of will out of this. Pitching, oh, pitching standstill. Okay, that's a reason to do it in the end step. Let's hope they don't have another standstill, though. Okay, maybe they do watch my channel. <laughs> Uh, I can't do anything about this standstill. I could, I guess, set up land drops. They have two cards in hand. I could play DRC, just put them up to five cards in hand. Or I could just start making land drops and try to overpower, like create a Insano turn later. All right, they didn't have anything. Okay, so once they're at seven cards in hand, I can thought seize into the standstill. I get to immediately check what they drew, clear, deploy my combo action. Like, as long as I'm hitting land drops, I can keep doing this. And they're not hitting land drops, which is a big deal. Well, there's a phoenix. Two phoenixes in my hand now makes this whole sculpt my hand into buried alive a lot worse. Oh, they're cycling a shark. But I love sharks still. Nice deck, by the way, opponent. Genuine compliment. I'm taking one here. Oh god, four colors. Hopefully that's just for prismatic ending, and they're not actually doing anything with that. Next turn, I will have to start discarding cards. So I'll start out to have to start casting spells. I could also bolt in the end step. If they don't play a land, they'd have to go to discard. All right, they have the land. Never mind. Land drop. Cool. All right, we get to pl keep playing land go here. I'd really like to find a faithless looting and just unload all on the same turn. Uh, they keep hitting land drops. They miss two land drops and then hit four in a row. Good stuff. Okay, now I have Force of Will. What does this look like now? There's no cantrips here. Oh, I could just go to discard and dump phoenixes. Yeah, that's pretty hot. I have a backup plan. I'm hooked on them. <laughs> Thanks for the hand size, opponent. Yeah, that aggressive play on turn one that I criticized uh, definitely has paid off. They're back up to five cards in hand. They're ahead on board. They have more lands in play than me. They're t pushing for damage. Like, it's all going pretty well for them. It's the uh, Swords of Plowshares Force of Will with extra standstill. That was worth doing. Okay, I will make a land drop. It, as soon as I'm going to miss a land drop, I'm going to make a move. I guess I should be worried about five five sharks at this point. Another land. They're killing me. So many lands. I could bolt now. Nah, I'll take the draw step, see if I find the land. All right, no land. What are we doing with this? I think I'm going to Dragon's Rage Channeler, then Thoughtseize. Okay, DRC. Let's go. It's party time. Enjoy your standstill cards. I'm done standing still. All right, there's Delver. Thoughtseize them now. DRC trigger action. Days can go into the graveyard. Am I going to get a look at this eight card hand? Are we countering this? Okay, prismatic ending, two standstills. Wow, this is actually really bad. If I take ending, they can't cast. Oh, if I take snapcaster, yeah, if I take snapcaster, then they can't snap plow this turn. 
Then Prismatic Endings of Sorcery. They do have four colors. Timeless Dragons, pretty decent. They could just cast it as five mana, five, five next turn. I'm a little worried about that, but. Yeah, I'm going to take the Snapcaster Mage, actually. That turns off Swords to Plowshares, which I do enjoy. And then. I think I'm just going to Turbo Shred with this Dragon's Rage Channeler, see how far I can get with it. Like, if I Dark Ritual this turn, that's another mill. I can Bolt, that's another mill. Uh, Merktide Regent can pick up both of those. Okay. Um, should I be fetching first? Yeah, I think so. I do not want more lands. I want to see spells hit the graveyard now. Okay, Dark Ritual. Let's go. Oh, I guess I just turned off the second Merktide Regent by doing that. Oh, Buried Alive. I can't get that in my hand. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, that means it goes into the graveyard. I have two phoenixes already. It's done its job. Three black. Lightning bolt. The shark or the face? Probably the shark. I gotta push damage through. Brainstorm. Uh, that is a good card. Am I gonna be back under standstill next turn? Uh, I'm gonna leave that. Yeah, that Dark Ritual doesn't, didn't make any fucking sense. Now I can't cast Delver, and I, I guess Delver's for Force of Will anyway. Alright, I will leave Brainstorm on top. That's a good card. Kill that. And then Merktide Regent. Get to make the biggest possible Merktide while still maintaining Delirium. Though so attacking into their 5-5 next turn, I'm not excited about. Oh, when my Arc Lights come back, I'll lose Delirium. No, that's cool. Yeah, that's actually awesome. And I don't have to attack into their 5-5. Five five. Okay, here's one of their two Brainstorms. Go, go for it. And then I'm going to move to combat. Can't spend this black mana. Arclade Phoenixes. Rise from the grave. Please don't have Shark Typhoon opponent. Begging you. Oh, they just took six. Nice. Swords to Plowshare is... I'm not going to fight over that. I have enough power and toughness in play. What I need to do is make sure that they can't stabilize against it. I imagine they shuffled away one of these standstills. I can pretty safely knock that out, and then the Ponder they also just cast. If they just put Timeless Dragon on the stack, I'm going to force it. Pitching Delver. There's the Brainstorm. The Ponder did not shuffle, so they liked that card. I'm just hoping there's no Sweeper. Even Supreme Verdict, though, doesn't answer Arclight Phoenix particularly well. I doubt this deck would have Terminus. A Shark Soul deck wants more control over its room answers than Terminus. Like, what good is a card you have to cast in your draw step when you're trying not to cast any cards? Ending for four. Is that worth a Force of Will? If Force works... Now, I know Brainstorm's on top of my deck, and I actually do want that. I'm just going to let them have that one. We have another one for that. Okay. Merktide Regent, you gotta beat their dragon. It's my dragon versus your dragon. Dual decks. Brainstorm. Lava Dart is not the worst thing I've ever seen. Um, I could... I have to put the land back. That's not helpful. And then I want the Delver for it to back it up with force. Yeah, maybe I leave Lava Dart on top and just dump out my creatures here. Land. Lava Dart. On top. Attack with Arclight Phoenix. Dragon's Rage Channeler. Merktide Regent. Two, three, four, five. I could exile all of these. Uh, I don't have to play around Flusterstorm. They could have Spell Pierce. Um, they're not going to have Daze. Like, I could just leave some cards in my graveyard by tapping lower. Lava Dart's on top. That's an instant. That can put a land in the graveyard, but it's instant or land. It's not both. Oh, there's a land under Lava Dart, so I can eat all the lands. And, oh wait, that's not how Merktide Regent works. I just want this thing to be big. Okay. I'm over here like, how do I keep the lands on my graveyard? I want to eat all the spells and one of the lands. Yeah, okay. That keeps a land for DRC in case that becomes relevant. But makes Merktide as big as I can get it. Horse Pitching Ponder on Mirko. Well, this is what I kept my Force of Will for. This is going to mill the Lava Dart. That's okay. Put it into the graveyard. 
I'll flash it back in the end step. Or I'll flash it back. Yeah, flashing it back grows Murktide Regent. That's so awesome. Get wrecked. But yeah, I'm definitely flashing back Lava Dart probably in my upkeep because then it'll be a spell for any Phoenixes I find and I have to clear that land off the top of my deck that I don't want. Their hand is... I guess they've brainstormed a number of times. We don't actually know their hand, but Timeless Dragon and Standstill. If I were them, I would have kept one of the Standstills and the Timeless Dragon after the first brainstorm, but a lot's happened since between the first and second brainstorm. We don't actually know anything anymore. Back to basics, uh, deal. It was nice of them to reveal back to basics. In my upkeep, I'm going to lava dart my opponent, sacking one of my tap mountains, which grows Murktide and surveils. But polluted delta into the graveyard. Could have gotten my basic island, but at this point I'm just whipping out the fences. Uh, this also can get my basic island. Here come my creatures. Did have a swords to plowshares left. They're at one. Uh, I am not going to play this land. Uh, Lava Dart would have been lethal. Okay, they can't use these fetch lands. If they tap any of their non-basics, they're gone. We out standstill to the standstill player. Fuck yeah. Drago. See you later. Okay, Pyro Blast coming in. Opposition agent is a flash threat. Like, I feel like things I can throw into play in response to standstill are good. Just no matter what. Plague Engineer doesn't matter. Flusterstorm could matter. It might be better than Days. Like, Flusterstorm doesn't answer standstill. But Days doesn't answer anything going into the late game. Especially on the draw, I think I'd rather have Fluster. Okay, so these Dazes are in. I really like the Arclade Phoenix plan here. Uh, Lava Dart is not good, even though it did show up like a hero that game. I expect my opponent to have some pretty heavy graveyard hate. Standstill, the only color we didn't see out of their deck that game was green, so there's no Uro we need to worry about. They could have, they could be an Urza Saga deck. They could be a Hall of Heliod's Generosity deck. Uh, so Urza Saga can tutor for artifact hate that's one-sided. Sometimes these decks just play Rest in Peace to bet that it's worse for you than it is for me. Right, I think Dark Ritual is pretty bad here. I do like the Buried Alive. I think this game will go long enough that we'll find a spot to, to do that. Do I want to cut the other Dark Ritual for another thing? Echoing Truth can answer sharks of any size. Any number of sharks of any size. That's pretty powerful. Uh, they did also show us Back to Basics. That's a thing worth answering. Uh, the dragon is a token on the back end. They didn't show me anything worth surgical extraction for, but I will bring in one Echoing Truth out of respect. Maybe I want the other one over the second Buried Alive. Yeah, I'll find that when I need it. This game's going to go slow, probably. I have a Buried Alive. I'm keeping this hand. No turn one deafening silence. Didn't they know what the theme of the league was? I think I'm just going to pass. Holding up Brainstorm if I need to do anything. I don't want to loot real spells into the graveyard. I, I can hold out looting until I have a Phoenix to pay off with. If this game goes slowly, then I'm likely to end up with a Phoenix in my hand at some point. Or at least give me like a second looting to discard, like something with value. I'm going to Brainstorm in the end step. If they have Hall Breach, I have Force of Will. But it's not necessarily a card I expect. It's just just saying. Um, I'm actually miles away from this buried alive. But I do I want looting? I will hold on to looting. And holding up opposition agent with force backup. If I can clip this fetch land right now, that would be huge. Anything that denies resources to a deck like this is a big deal. I'm gonna fetch away the buried alive. They showed me the back to basics, but I'm screwed to that anyway, so might as well play into it. Um, do I want to brainstorm? I could just jam the opposition agent. I'm going to brainstorm. Okay, more lands. Uh, a fluster storm to protect my opposition agent with. I really want to oppo something. Force of will, double force of will, and fluster storm back up. I feel like I can get this thing into play. 
Shark Typhoon, okay. I have Echoing Truth for that. If they cast Standstill or Crack their Fetch, I'll go for Opposition Agent. I could also just play it in the end step here, and I could also draw this land and keep playing Drago. Yeah, I'll take another land. If I were just pure Delver, I'd be really worried about this game state, but having the explosiveness of the Phoenix plan available to me is a really big deal. They do keep hitting land drops out of their own deck instead of me hitting land drops out of their deck. I'm also hitting land drops, though. Okay, they're cracking their fetch. I will also crack a fetch. I'm going to get my island and opposition agent. They have enough mana. They could probably fight over this in an easy variety of ways. Like that swords to plowshares. Cluster storm is not good enough yet. I'm going to pitch Murktide and try to fight over this. This spell gets fluster storm up where it needs to be. I could fluster right now. No, I can't counter their plow and their brainstorm, so let them brainstorm. Okay, they forced my force. And now I'm going to fluster their swords to plowshares. And storm is one bagajillion. Okay, the plow is answered. Let's see if they have another one. They're pretty interested in fighting over that. They spent a ponder. Like, at some point, I may not have even forced back. It's like... When I have to two for one myself, maybe just give them the land. I don't know. But I will take a basic land out of your deck. You got one for me. All right, let's look at this deck, too. Four Prismatic Ending, three Plows. So they don't have removal in their hand, but we knew that or else they would have cast it. There's no Urza Sagas. Two Shark Typhoons. Oh, I can we expect one to be in their hand? Oh, there's three. There's one here. <laughs> All right. I expect one to be in their hand. That's not a card you play three of. One Back to Basics, two Dress Down. Fairy Macabre. Okay. One Pyroblast. Do they have red? They don't have red mana. I'm actually going to take a Volcanic Island. Try to screw them off red. Even in the face of Back to Basics. I only saw two red lands in there. Snapcaster Mage. That will probably target Swords to Plowshares. Right, I'm going to give this the Force. We had this knock them down, drag them out fight over this Opposition Agent. But I'm going to commit to that line now that we're here. We're here, we're doing it. Let's stay with it. Ponder to draw. Dragon's Rage Channeler. I'll take that too. Uh, do not shuffle my library. I'll play the land from exile. Dragon's Rage Channeler. If I attack and they have a Shark Typhoon, I lose my opposition agent. And I did suspect that they had one there. Though maybe they wouldn't have snapped if that was the case. I don't know. Jace the Mind Sculptor. That's a good card. And they're immediately brainstorming. That's what I would do. So with my Faithless Looting, I'm likely to be able to turn on DRC. I'm only missing a creature in the graveyard right now. Hope they didn't find a Swords to Plowshares. No, they're tapping white mana. Oh, Prismatic Ending. That's a deal. Uh, that one's fine. Okay, so Pyroblast, Echoing Truth, Lightning Bolt, all of those cards answer Jace right now going to pile up on red mana. That's more important. You don't need that much black mana. Okay, there's that. Uh, I have some choices. I'm just going to blast the shark and attack Jace. They have, there's no mana open. Like The attack's going to clear Jace anyway. Attack Jace. I could have cast looting, flashback looting all at once here, and that would have been three spells, and just mill four, hope there's a phoenix, but I think I'd rather keep the card selection option. Passing the turn. Oh, Buried Alive. That's a good one. If I can Looting. Cast re Looting. All right. Uh, I could just Buried Alive my birds right now, and then Looting, re -looting any spell next turn gets it done. Oh, I can Bury Alive now, and then Looting, re looting, re looting right now. Right, right, right. That is how that works. I'll put you to the test. Arc. White. Phoenix. I guess I should have looted first. I, I forgot that the first looting cost one. I was just like, I thought it was a nine mana play, but it's actually a seven mana play. Okay, uh, they forced that, which is completely irrelevant because I get to flash it back and it's, I still cast that spell this turn. In we go. Kaka. Do they have the macabre? Doesn't look like it. And they're conceded. Wow. 
four and one with Grixis Phoenix Delver. I think that the changes I made were pretty clutch. Like Dragon's Rage Channeler did a lot of work in this league. Faithless Looting did a lot of work in the league. I think we can actually go even slimmer. Like the uh, the Dark Ritual barely did anything. And Buried Alive, like if you're playing to a mid-game situation anyway, Buried Alive, you don't need to ramp into it. You can just like cantrip bolt you Buried Alive. But the the natural shredding velocity of just looting and DRC, I think, did most of the work. I would honestly take this deck even tighter in the post-league wrap-up here. My new changes are going to be, I think, the fourth looting and two mana Morphos over Dark Ritual. Like, you just need spells. And with Dragon's Rage Chandelier, mana Morphos also looks for phoenix could play more discard like the discard was good when i found it okay, right now dark rituals out and i have manamorphose in with another thought seize and the fourth looting though so it do you even need three buried alive with the cantrip selection and the lootings and the drc is like i think i just want more spell velocity in the form of manamorphose like we, we rarely had a problem getting phoenixes in the graveyard. We frequently had a problem casting three spells in a turn. Yeah, I actually like this quite a bit. Do I want something in the main deck to answer random bullshit? Like I could play a Brazen Borrower or an Abrade that can help you punch through like Chalice or Ensnaring Bridge or an opposing Merc Tide or whatever. Yeah, I'm actually going to cut one of the Thoughtseize for a Brazen Borrower. Brazen Borrowers in the deck now. As a one-of, you can dig two if you need to answer some random bullshit that gets through Force of Will. And, I mean, the sideboard, you can tune through your meta. I feel like there's a lot of work that can still be done here, but I'm not going to do it right now on live on camera. Decide what you want to beat and season to taste. But this... I like this spread quite a lot. Oh, is Snuff Out better in the main than Lava Dart? And you can't snuff out Baleful Strix. And Lava Dart's better against Ragavan, probably. Though it's possible Gutshot is better than both of them. I'm going to leave the Lava Dart for, for style points right now. Oh, right. Basic Island was supposed to come out. It was good one time when I got Assassin's Trophied, and it was pretty bad the rest of the time. I'm adding the fourth Volcanic Island and cutting the Basic Island. This is where I'm going to leave this deck. Oh, I want a Badlands. <laughs> I keep trying to sign off and then remembering changes I wanted to make. Okay, now I'm done. I replaced one of the fetch lands with a bad lands and then changed the Misty Rainforest to Bloodstained Mire so your mana base is functional. This does give you a land that doesn't cast Days or Ponder, which I usually don't like in my Delver decks, but the basic island doesn't cast your spells by and large. Like most of your spells are not castable by basic island, which is an even bigger strike in my mind. This is where I'm going to leave it. I really like the sort of passive value of the Phoenix plan in this shell. Like th this, this infrastructure does not support a fast Phoenix. It just doesn't. Even after like the, the changes that I made to support it better, it's still like Dark Ritual was a blank most of the league. And it, it's just, you know, play a fair game, make them answer that. Make them like get into those scrappy Delver matchups and where like all of the resources are taxed all the time. And then surprise, here's a, a couple of three twos out of nowhere with, that they didn't really account for or and can't answer. Like, I think that's a better way to play this deck between looting and Dragon's Rage Channeler. You're going to get your Phoenixes into the graveyard. There are two Buried Alives for combo potential, but they're not going to gum up your hand. Like, the Buried Alives and Dark Rituals are not going to shut up your hand when you don't want them. And Manamorphose can help you shred through the deck with DRC. It can help fix the mana. Like you can still function under like a blood moon with mana morphos in your deck. And that'll just give you more turns where you can bury it alive. Like that turns buried alive from a five mana play into a four mana play. Like you still need another uh another one drop. Like you need to ponder mana morphos buried alive on four mana. But with two mana morphos you could morph morph bury. It's possible. I don't think I want to go any more of those, but I do like the number that's there. 
I am proud of this glow up between the deck I was sent and the deck we ended up with. I, I'm pretty happy with this main deck. Work on the sideboard yourself for, based on what you want to beat. And this was a fun league, four and one. Narrowly missed that trophy. We take those, bread and butter, keep this channel on the air with those 4-1 tre treasure chests. Thank you, Sam, for asking me to play this. I hope you like the changes I made. Thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, check out the Patreon, check out the merch. Thanks for being here. See you next time.